me. He doesn't even know what's coming. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? So on Julian's vlog channel last week, as many of you guys saw, we did have a little bit of an accident. Permit was chasing a squirrel and skidded on the deck part next to our pool and did fall into the pool. It was so not funny at the time. Julian saved him. He was swimming. He knows how to swim a little bit. It's very funny now. But after that, everyone was like, you should try and teach them how to swim. They know how to swim like out of survival, but I guess I've never actually tried to teach them how to swim because they don't really enjoy the water. <laughs> they have shown no interest in wanting to go in. Like if you're floating on a raft, like they'll sit with you. They enjoy that. But in terms of swimming, they're not really water dogs. I would love to be able to teach them how to swim to like that shelf in there, or the stairs, like just out of pure survival, because I think it's a worthy endeavor to just try. And if this were to actually happen, it would probably take a very long time to teach them. But there's no better time to start than now. I've looked up a couple of different types of YouTube videos about people trying to teach dogs to swim, and it all for the most part just looks a little bit of a mess. You get them in there, you try and teach them to swim, you see how the dog responds. I'm going to do my very best to make sure that they're safe, that they're not too stressed out. They're also like my dog, so I think I can read them pretty well, and I'm not gonna do anything that's gonna stress them out too much. But like I said, they don't really have any interest in going in the pool, so they're not puppies. <laughs> it's gonna be a little difficult to get them to decide that they wanna go in the pool, so I'm hoping that we can teach them, if they ever fell in the pool, how they can get out, which is mostly my concern. Like, they don't have to be crazy about going swimming to me. I just would like it if maybe they knew how to save themselves. Kermit did everything right, though. He kept his head above the water. He was just in there, but like, we're always watching them when we're outside. I'm not like genuinely fearful that they're gonna fall in the pool. And we also have like a pool alarm too that we can put in there. We have one of those. We just haven't installed it yet. But I'd say let's try. Let's see how they do. And unlike all the other times that they've gone swimming with me in the past, I done got them some life jackets, you know? I feel like that's a good way to train them. Because I have seen dog videos where the people train them with life jackets, so we'll try. So this is what these life jackets look like. I say we put them on. We take them outside. I'll get in the pool, have some treats, see if we can get them interested. The only one I think that would go for that in their wildest dreams is the food-driven one, Miss Weech. Do you want to try this on, honey? It's for pool safety. And if y'all are asking if I'm really going to wear all these clothes in the pool, the answer is yes. Because most of y'all are cool, but some of y'all are body shamers. I don't feel like hearing it today. Carm, you're going to go swimming too, don't worry. Hey. <laughs> Honestly, like what's going on? That feel good? Huh? You look great. That feel good? What are you laughing about? Hey, Bobby. He's so weird and awkward. Bobby, I think yours is like gonna be kind of big, bud. <laughs> I don't mind. I like. Bud, you're gonna look like a tiny little turtle. I don't know. It's not really about Marble. He's the least of my concerns, you know? It's the other two. The out of control ones. <laughs> they look like dolphins. Can she walk in it? Come on, I'm being dramatic. Marble, Marble that's we're not... going in the living room. He's like, this is fine, I'll wear this. Can we sit on the couch? Come on, you little turtle. Yes, very safety and fashion. Let's see if we can get any of them interested in coming into the water. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> so food driven. Come. come on. Good girl. That's a really good girl. I'm really sorry for the noise. People be cutting big ones. Come on, bud. Good boy. Okay, look at one. Oh, Miss Wheat just sitting in the water. Wow. I'm so proud. This is honestly farther than I've ever gotten with them. All it takes is some treats. Come on. Come on. Come on, come honey. Come on, it's just water. Here we come. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Oh my god, she's like walking around. Peach, can you sit in the water? Oh, she's such a good girl. I can't believe it. Here we come. Oh, he's mad because I gave his treat to Weech. I might have to help Kermit in. He's still like, hasn't gotten past the, so in the initial like. Put him so on the stairs. Okay, look, see, Ooh. that's a good boy. You did it. I know it's scary, honey, especially after you fell in the pool, huh? Where's Marble? <laughs> Marble, we're doing swim lesson. Come here. Let's see if Peachy will actually, like, swim. Okay. Come on, baby. 
can do it. You have a, a life jacket on, honey. Come on. Come on. I know, that's kind of weird, huh? Let's see. Oh, see, honey? Are you floating a little? That's a good girl. Good girl. Come on, Miss Weech. Come on, Miss Weech. She's such a good girl. Okay, okay, babe. Oh, honey. Wow, Miss <laughs> She's so good. Wow, that was so good. That was so good. This is probably going to be the hardest part. It's just getting them like comfortable. Good girl. I mean, not for Peach. Yeah. Can you do it? Come on, baby. Come on, Peachy. It's all right. Look. There she goes. Good girl. Oh, come on. Good okay, girl. Peachy. Peachy. Oh, shoot. She got herself up. She's, she's so good. I did not think she would be this good. I'm like shocked. But this is also like, she's not the one that's going to fall in the pool. It's this one. Marvel, you can't skip swim lesson, dude. Sit. Good boy. Oh, bud. Gross. Did you drop it? Yeah. I'm right here, okay? All right. Ready? Good. But that's my necklace that I care deeply about. Come on. This way. <laughs> yeah, I know it's hard to learn how to swim. I had to do it too when I was little. Oh, yeah. Peach found the, the treat stash. What a naughty. Good girl, come on. Good girl. That is good girl. so good. Come on, Nanny. Come on, Nanny. Good girl. Good girl. Come this way. Peach again. Peach again. <laughs> good girl. He will do anything to not get in the water. I will say. He is extra handsome in that life jacket. I think I'm gonna take him over there. Yeah. I'm gonna just show him like if he swims up to that part, he can get out using that shell. Okay. Good boy. Good boy, bud. Come on. Look. Oh, bud. You did it. You made it all the way. Up. This is the spot of the foul right here. This is where he fell in. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Wow. That's such a good boy. I'm like so proud and amazed. Like why haven't we done this sooner? I don't know. It like makes you feel kind of dumb, honestly. Marbles is going to be interesting. Like, hi bud. Look at him. He's like excited. so much better than I ever thought. We've already gotten them to like this part then where they can pull themselves out. Jumping in the pool is a little scary and I don't blame them because that's like where the fear comes in. But getting out of the pool and like navigating the shallow spaces, they're getting really good at, so. Come, 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 get you jump. <laughs> she needs to feel it first. Come on, good girl, come on. So brave. Why have we never done this I don't know, they're, they're really enjoying it. I want to see how marbles will do that. Good girl, she just got in all on her own. Come on. Oh, good boy. <laughs> okay. Ready? This way. Let me go. Let's go. This way. This way. Hey, good boy. Sort of. Good boy. Come on, Grandma, be careful. You gotta use your feet. This is over the edges, bud. Come on, honey. Oh. Easy does it. Good job, bud. Come on, up. Good boy. Jump out. Come on, bud. Jump. That's such a good boy, Kermit. That's like all it took was for us to work with him for a little bit and he would have swum straight to the shelf. Jump. Teach is like something else. She's so, so brave. Trainable. Ready? Good girl. This way, this way, this way. Oh, she's so good. She, oh. 
She went to the right spot. If we did this a bunch, and then I think the next step after they get really comfortable with that is to take their life vests off, you know? But like the amount that they've gotten comfortable with being in the water is like zero to a hundred. Like I thought today it was just gonna be a bunch of fear. And they're so good. And they're Italian greyhounds. Like I don't know what kind of dog you have, but like they're probably a little smarter than us. Speaking of intelligent animals. So I don't think that Bobby is gonna ever willingly jump into the pool. No, he won't. And I, I'm like kind of cool. <laughs> like I'm cool with marbles, like never wanting to jump in the water. Like he's way too chilled out for that. But what I would like is for him to just get some practice swimming. He knows where to go. Like that. I'm, I'm completely happy with that. Do you want a treat? Oh, good luck with that. Absolutely not. <laughs> Bobby, if you ever fell in the pool and you got to here, that's all I could ask for. He has jumped out. He just can't with this big vest on. Yeah, it's like holding him down. That's fine. Bobby, let's swim a little more, okay? This is a big swim. Okay, little one. Whoa. <laughs> wow, he's so silent. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that little rudder. <laughs> oh my gosh, his tail's wagging. Hi, this way, honey. Come on, bud. It's okay. It's helping you float, honey. Yes, this way. Oh. <laughs> Dude, he's so fast. He's so fast. How is he so fast? Dude, like he moves like at 100 miles an hour. Good boy, honey. The life jacket is helping him float so much. Yeah, because he weighs that thing. He's Try it again. That was amazing. Hold on, he needs a little rest. Kermit. This is too big. I'll take this off you in a little bit and you can try jumping out, okay? Right now, I just want you to practice your little swims with your vest on, okay? Take him out to oh, sea. Okay. Here we go, bud. He's not in the water. Yeah, I am. You good? You want to go see mama? All right, come on, call him. Mama! Good boy! Come on, honey! Come on, bud! Come on, honey! Yes, here he comes. He's easily the best swimmer. Easily the best swimmer. He's silent and fast. <laughs> he's so fast. But he's a senior dog. Like, this is really good exercise. Yeah. And is keeping you nice and cool. If you would accept the treat ever, like, maybe it would be a rewarding experience for you. This is all you want, though, huh? You just want a hug? What the hell, dude? When I'm hanging out on the raft, he'll just sit there with me like this. Like, he does really like it. I think they're all just like generally scared of dipping their face under, which is like when you teach babies how to swim, that's like the scariest part, or like putting your head under, so. Wow, my goodness. Are you having a good time or what? Wow, well, I know it's a lot, huh? Here you go. Look at him. God, he's so impressive. Oh, good boy. Good job, bud. All right, Kermit, I know a lot of times their first instinct is to swim to the wall. So if I could just get him to keep swimming this way and jump out, like that's all I could ask for marbles. Like he doesn't need to enjoy swimming. He's a five pound chihuahua. <laughs> actually changed my mind. Do not really want to get out. It actually feels very nice. Show me those survival skills, bud. You know what? If for some reason you fell in the pool and I found you right here, that's all mommy could ever ask of you, okay? I'm so proud of you. Yes, he's such a good boy. This is the most that we're gonna get out of him. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really impressed with how they did. Marbles blew me away. I've never been so impressed. I've never been so impressed with anything physical that that dog has done. He was going like 20 miles an hour silently and his tail was <laughs> wagging. They're not like jumping to get in the water which I think is fine. Like if they don't want to be swimmers, that's cool. All I care about is like, if they fell in, that they could figure their way out. And I think with like a lot more time with them and working with them with treats and like figuring out which ways are safe for them to go, like that's all you could ever want, right? No, they did good though for the first one. I'd say if I'd have to give a gold star for today, it would be you, Miss Weech. She has always been so trainable and brave and sweet. And we're so proud of you, little girl. She's like the one we don't have to worry about, you know? Yeah, she's really good. Well, marbles too. 
Honestly, we just have to worry about Kermit all the time. Every day. I also figured out what makes him so incredibly human is that he's the only dog that I know that loves me conditionally. <laughs> like a human does. Yeah, exactly. That's honestly one of the nicest things too. Like their coat is just like a piece of paper. So they try in like four seconds. All right, well, I guess that's it. I just, I really wanted to try this and see what happened. I've been shockingly, pleasantly surprised. Hey, shut the hell up, shut up. All you guys are in life jackets, you look dumb. I'm actually like looking forward to continuing doing this with them so that they can be comfortable enough. If they ever fall in the pool again, permit, that they will be able to get out. If you have a dog and some water, I encourage you to work with them. Even if they're little and you think that they wouldn't enjoy it. Apparently, if you just get a life jacket and some treats, they'll do any fucking thing in the world, so. All right, that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put on a new episode Wednesday slash Thursday. Look at, they're all huddled in the sun. <laughs> Wish pool with me, the Irish Spring. <laughs> <laughs> she just boxed him up. <laughs> Good girl. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.